This time of year is when they depend on making probably 75, 80% of their yearly income. And I do have everything 50% off, so. You look down the street and there wasn't a dozen people here. It's bad. We're doing without. I haven't had a sale in three days. Estes Silver and Gold, 34 years. Eight, $900 a day this time of year, and now we're doing 60. <laughs> the flood is by far the most important because it's cut off the highways. The government shutdown is temporary, we hope, and it's not helping this week. They want to go up into the park. When the park shuts down, fewer people come here. Today, it's like a ghost town. One way in, one way out now is going to hurt them big time. I think there's tons of sales going on right now, uh, too. So yes. <laughs> it's only $36.99 and then half off. So well, I've been doing business in town since you. February of 2006. There you go. <laughs> People have come into this shop for years because of my prices and my selection. And uh, I, I, but I tell them, I go out for right now, I have to close down. It's bankrupt in them. Zero, zero, zero. You know, the last time we had a sale was on Sunday. The biggest things they got going here is the elk and tourism. And that's the problem. They can get here, but it's inconvenient. The weather's beautiful, you know. The town's open and ready, but uh, there just aren't enough folks coming in. It's impossible for a town to survive. Good luck. Thank you. I don't want to give up. I'm not going to, but it's just with the situation, I can't. It's, it's not, it doesn't make sense to try and, and fight it and do it now. Be patient sell off things at a lower price and hope to generate money and just hang in there. That's all you can do.